scotch, bourbon and fried. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Hey, everybody. Welcome to an all-new Trenny and C. He's Trenny. I'm C. And tonight we have a update video. We are doing... Uh, what's the best beginner scotch updated for the 2019-2020, uh, you know, season? Whiskey yeah. drinking season. So we uh, did a video a number of years ago titled yeah. the same thing, What's mm -hmm. the Best Beginner Scotch? Yeah. Um, and we still stand by those choices. Absolutely. They're great choices, but some of those either are more expensive than they used to be. Yeah. Or you can't find them as readily available. Right. Or the ones we're going to show you are relatively new or available to us. Yeah, there are some that are new to market. So, yeah. uh, you know, in order to, to, to tell the masses, I mean, we've got we've to gotta update this video. So let's, let's not waste a lot of time. Let's start bringing them out. Yeah. Okay, we're going to move, remove the training sea coaster. Beautiful, beautiful. You can have, literally have a drink on us. That's right. No. Okay, I'm going to start yeah. with the... Naked Grouse. So oh. this bottling took us by surprise a couple of years ago. We tried it at a whiskey festival. You're starting and, with a blended malt. And I'm starting with a blended malt because <laughs> generally generally in the Scotch whiskey world, the majority of people are still drinking blends. Blends. Yeah. Now, um, there are a huge variety in flavors of blends, mm -hmm. and this one hits all the marks as far as I'm concerned. And this is not uh, the same as a blended scotch. This is a blended malt. I Correct. mean, this is essentially, I think there are three single malts that have gone into the um, into the Naked Grouse, and they work very nicely together. And um, it's just all around has some great drinkability to it. Yeah, so the Naked Grouse, that's not to be confused with Black Grouse or the Famous or Grouse. Famous grouse. Um, this is its own thing. Mm -hmm. It is bottled at 43% alcohol. Um, what you have here on the nose is a really rich and deep um, caramels with fruits and toffees, some like, cinnamon, some spices. The sherry sweetness. There's a bit of a sherry sweetness for sure. Mm -hmm. And then on the palate, mm, it's just creamy and soft. There's some grainy notes there. It's also 43% alcohol, so you're getting yeah. that slight bit of extra alcohol content that usually um, kind of like makes a whiskey a little bit more bold and, yeah. and flavorful, right? And one of the reasons we suggest this as a beginner whiskey is uh, because we're kind of assuming that you've tried some single malts. We're assuming that you like scotch already, right. but you're exploring and expanding your horizons. You don't have to go much further than a blend sometimes. Yeah, sure. And this is a really good example of that. Um, we're going to just pour this one to drink, as, sip along as we yeah, show we'll your other ones. Carry on but that. this is a good starter point. Yeah. Naked Grouse, 43%. Mm. Some really big, bold flavors in there. It doesn't cheap out on what it offers. So It, it competes against any single malt. Right? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Great. I am moving on. What we have here... And this isn't in order of like better or worse or anything no. like that. But I'm kind of going with uh, the Glendron eight, eight year old. Yeah. This is non chill filtered, natural color, has an age statement. Um, and it's the Glendronic. Glendronic always puts out a good product. Uh, one thing that you, that you haven't mentioned yet is price. And oh, this one, this yeah. one hits the mark on price as well. So like you said, we always look to try and check the boxes um and if you can check five boxes you have potentially a high high ranking um desirable whiskey so we're looking at over 40 percent we're looking at non chill filtered natural color age statement and decent price so as a beginner uh person into the world of scotch whiskey because these are all scotches um, those are the, basically the things you're looking for. Um, and you don't want anything that's going to necessarily, I don't want to say intimidate because sometimes you try something that's just really crazy and powerful and it's mm -hmm. different and it's the thing that grabs you. 
But these are things that you could probably give to anyone that's starting yes. and they would find something new about it. The other thing is they come from different kind of territories regions, and regions yeah. of Scotland. So um, the Glendronic has a bit of that sherry feel to it, has a bit of the herbalness to it. Mm -hmm. Really good flavors. Nice also bottles at 46%. Yes. Really good. Moving on. Delicious. Keep going. Yeah. Moving on. What else you got for me? So... Another region here, we have the Glen Farkless 12 year old. So now we've gone from a blend to an eight to a 12. 12 year olds are generally the ones that you find a lot of 12 year olds in the Scotch world. Uh, that's the age that a lot of people kind of like set, sets their benchmark a lot of the yeah. time. Um, but the other thing about this one is it's a family owned uh, distillery very sherry forward so in uh, people that are learning they'll know when they try this that this has a sherry forward style to it and you can tell that by the color it's a little bit uh, deeper red maybe we should pull them all out of the yeah out of the box. comparative to the Glendronic 8 which is you know a nice color also it's just aged a different way so this has like a little bit more of a copper kind of a tone to it copper tone copper tone and this has some reds in it and oranges. And again, on the nose, like I'm going to do the thing you shouldn't do right out of the bottle. Stuff that your nose in there. Really nice raisin rich, mm. uh, kind of leathery. Yeah, that sherry leather but type like, thing to it. But not overpowering with it. We've taste tested this 12-year-old Glen Farkless against the 40-year-old Glen Farkless. Mm -hmm. And we chose the 12. We blind tasted it. It stands it. up yeah. really, really and well. And the price is really good. Yeah. So, I mean, this is another one that I believe um, checks all of the boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, again, those are the first three. Here we go. We got two more for two you. Two more. This Old Pontney 12-year-old, I'm telling you, this is not just for beginners. Mm. This is for but everybody. it doesn't intimidate, but... The people that try this for the first time, it's a lover. I mean, you love this whiskey. You know what? Here's the, here's you don't the, even know, but you love it. Here's the interesting thing about each one of these bottles. The reason, the, the way that you know that they're really good, look how much is left in this one. Yeah, that's Look how it. much is left in this one. This one. Yeah. And this one. There's a reason we have a... We have a whole entire shelves of whiskey here. There's a reason why these particular bottles are near finished. It's because yeah. there's something that keeps on attracting us to that bottle. We okay, what's that one? Let's go back to that one. Let's have a little we, taste. We of, know we love it. Let's try let's again. Compare again it to again. that one. You know, so it's like we want to keep going back to these because that's where the flavor is. So the the reason we chose these, we have one more coming. But again, they're all different styles. This Old Pultney, this really kind of explains what it's like to try something that has a little bit more of a floral, soapy, yeah. salty, yeah. like briny, uh, fresh sea water Old kind salty. of a, a feel to it. And um, also, it's got the age statement of 12 years old. It is also, well, this one's 40%. But it doesn't, it doesn't limit itself in flavor. No. Like, you'll get a big experience out of this one so it's super unique it stands up again it's another bottle the one way that we know that these are great bottles is we usually blind tasted them against other bottles without knowing what was what was in front of us and we chose them for one reason or another against something else right and old Pultney is another one that won the entire eight bottle competition of what's the best 12 year old scotch which you should watch that video after this one by the way yeah you know, now, now you know, you know the answer but still we get kind of drunk in it so. it won and it won for good reasons yes okay moving on to the final bottle. final one so you've already got lots of options as a beginner here yeah but let's give you one more that's a little bit different the reason i'm choosing this one this is lecheg uh 10 year old it is bottled at 46.3 percent alcohol this one is a peated style whiskey. Um, it is relatively inexpensive. When I bought this, it was under $60, uh, which around here is great price. 
Awesome. It is a higher strength alcohol. It has an age statement and, like I said, the price is right. Yep. Um, so now the difference with this one, this has the peat. This has the smoke. This has the yeah. the the icicle kind of the mineral, mineral ozone flavors yes. to it. So each one of these represent a different style. Yeah. And I think as a beginner, it's a really good idea to explore because yeah, take the you journey. Don't, don't assume everything is Johnny Walker Red Label. You right, know, right. If that's what you've tried, that's not specifically Scotch. <clears throat> These all have a different characteristic, and some people may love the sherry bombs. Yeah. Some people may love the peat. The things. Islas, yeah. And then some may just love the in the middle kind of and that bourbon one. cask, a little bit higher strength. Um, yeah, blends or whatever it might be. So. If you agree with these as a beginner's, let us know. Yeah. I want to say one thing to that. Yeah. We are not beginners. No. And we love these. So these yeah. are kind of like for everybody, but I would say people j just starting their whiskey journey. This is a great place to a start. Good, this is a good collection to start with. And I think in the comment section, you can always, always leave um, your suggestions because people don't necessarily have to just trust us. Look in the comments. You know, people might say, oh, also try this or, you know, just regular Glenfiddich 12 or this or that. Like, Whatever people have their own ideas of what got them into scotch, yeah. you know. tell Actually, that's a great way. Tell us what was the bottle that got you into scotch because that's probably a really great beginner bottle too. For so, sure. Absolutely. Um, anyway, this was fun. I mean, I think it's always great to kind of like update our, our picks on um, how to get people into whiskey. Uh, yeah. Scotch specifically in it, this video. It's a fun hobby. Um, so hopefully you like this video. Click like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. We have a ton of videos. We probably have videos for individual all Each these bottles. These. So check, check those out. out and uh, we will see you soon. Yeah. Thank you again. Cheers. Hey, cheers. Granny and C, drinking whiskey. Describing all the flavors for you and me. Irish scotch, bourbon and rye. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Subscribe on YouTube.